Hi, dear pal. Welcome to another episode of ABC Useful Tips. I'm really excited to show you this interesting and fun game for your students, right? To arouse their interest for the topic that you're going to teach, right? And then also for them to help to their, themselves to discover prior knowledge for the topic. This game is called Mirror Hunt, Mirror Mirror on the Wall, for them to search for the idea of the topic terms or concepts. This video will show you step by step how do you create the various pages and various terms right, to entice the students to find certain idea in terms of pictorial right, for, the, uh, for the concept they're going to teach for that day right, in the mirrors that are provided and at uh, this particular assignment is designed in such a way that you can see everybody's work or all the pictures that they have found and the ideas that they have gotten at the same time from not the same pattern you have all right from this view or a great view that can see more students work i understand the picture looks pretty difficult to um, design or create and don't worry i'll be providing you with a free download of this particular assignment all right with three mirrors Right at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the end and you can download or copy the address to make a copy of this assignment for yourself. I'll also be showing you how do you assign this file or assignment in the Google Classroom so that everybody can work on the same file so that you can view everybody's progress at the same time right, in Google Classroom. So remember to view right to the end. If you like this video and you'd like to be first to be notified of future video, please click subscribe at the bottom or click this line to subscribe. Remember click the bell so that you'll be the first to be notified when there's a new video uploaded. Alright, give us a comment how you think this game can actually help you to entice your students. Alright, now we'll dive right in. At the end of this video, you will get to see this page where you can copy the a link in to make a copy of your own for this particular mirror hunt game okay, into your Google Drive and only you will get access and you can modify and customize to your own use. For the next step, go into any of your browser, okay, like Google Chrome, and then type in the address in the address panel and click enter. And a copy of this mirror hunt game will be created. Next step is to customize the title of this file in order to find it easily for your attachment into your Google Classroom for the activities in class. So you can click on this title panel here, all right, and change it to your class name that you intend to play this game with, all right. Next important thing is to find this file in your Google Drive and um, it is found in your prison. You will find the latest file that you have actually changed the name here, right? Right here. Okay, so you need to just change, uh, move it over to your uh, whatever um, folder that you want to save it and it's very, very simple. I'm going to show you now. Click on it and then hold the click and pull it over to your drive where you have created a folder just for this particular activity and then you just drop it in okay and then you can just click on that folder immediately on the left hand side and you will find that file there after you satisfy where you have saved and transferred that file right so that you can easily find it in the future for your google classroom attachment right now it is to show you how you can play the create the game in such a way that you can play with the students and all the students will be able to do it together for you to show them uh, their work at the same time right and you can monitor all their work at the same time too Right, so how do you do that? And then each page, then there is a page number, and this page number actually represents the number of the students that you have allocated. So you need to prepare beforehand the list of students uh, that will be participating in this activity and the numbers that they are allocated to. Right, so let's say, for example, in my class, I have four students. Of course, there might be a lot more. You can just uh, make a copy of each page, and the number is automatically okay created every time you copy we uh, create a new page i will show you now all right so uh, because this page is um, attached with three attachment for you to type in names for the things that you want to find or this you want the students to find you need to click on any of these two pages all right um, in the in the original copy and then you just click 
copy right click and copy or you can use Control c all right and then what you do is click at the bottom of the last page you will see this orange line and then you pay, you click Control v a new page will be created just now was a demonstration of the copying and the pasting of the pages however because you need to set up the names of the pictures you want them to hunt in the mirror all right so what you can do is i will demonstrate it with only one page first once the things are set up, then I will make the copies. So for each mirror, you will have a different name. Okay, and these names will actually represent certain terms that will be important or concepts that are important for your day, for the particular lesson that you are conducting. If the topic that I'm going to conduct for this lesson, for example, is exercise, right? I can actually cre create a word um, at the bottom to indicate that as an overall idea it is not compulsory next i'll include the three things that i want them to find okay number one is i will have to click on this particular type here and then highlight all the words here replace them with the particular term Again, okay, i can adjust this word the, the box according to the size of the word all right and then the next one and so I can actually move it up so it doesn't take up too long in length. Alright. This is it. I have the three words here for them to search and find as they are mirror art. Now that you have included all the three terms or the concept words that you want your students to mirror hunt, right, in this exercise, it's time to create the number of pages for every single student. Okay, so in this case that I've shown before, right, what you can do very quickly, click on the page outside here and then you right click and copy. Then click at the bottom, right click and paste. And you will see that the second page has the page number two. Alright, and I just keep on going doing that. And I, before this particular class, I'm going, I'm going to dem uh, demonstrate this game. And there are only four students, so I will stop at four. Student four. You need to allocate the numbers to them like i mentioned before next we'll proceed on to the google classroom to set this mirror hunt game up all right for the student to assess in the google classroom go to classwork click on classwork all right it's a new assignment so click on create this plus sign here and assignment because it's going to be an attachment all right with an attachment of your mirror hunt game so click, click first thing is to type in the title and you can include something like the game name mirror hunt as a game just to entice them that they are looking forward to something fun all right then you can even include fun intro to the topic name or pre-understanding or anything that will make it easy for them to accept okay and then to kick start the idea of the topic and you may also include a simple instruction just to make it more enticing for them to play the game something like all right i have um, already uh, created this mirrors mirrors on the wall make it sound like a story tell me or show me all right which is which actually means for them to find what do these three terms or three concept words look like all right then you include the three concept words that you already included in the game itself all right for them to find and it's very important to make even assignments in Google Classroom sound also mystical, also story-like to make it more really, uh, and enjoyable to increase or uh, arouse the interest. And I've included these instructions at the bottom in the description and you can just copy directly from it and include in your Google Classroom. And for the file for the mirror hunt itself, it will be right coming soon, right at the end. Last but not least is to include the file yourself, alright, and then this is where you attach the file by clicking on this add sign here click on add and because we are saving in a google drive and it's actually a google slide file click on google drive and it will appear right here at the recent for today you have the class name mirror hunt okay so it's important to name it okay according to what you want and that is easy to find here okay double click on this name all right this particular file will be attached Alright, and because you would like every student to be able to work on the same file, it's important to click on this panel here, students can edit, alright, click student can edit, and if you want to know how to, uh, what are the 
um, assignment for what kind of assignment you can use for view only edit or make a copy the different types of file assignment okay you can click on the link on top right to see a video on how to apply or use these three different types of assigning files in assignment right so last but not least we will actually complete it with uh, giving you points and also assigning topics for points I uh, usually for games I would like to give a few points just to entice them to really be involved with the game right and uh, for topic it is important to assign a topic so that you can easily find the assignment in the future under uh, classwork okay so if everything is done and you're happy with it and you just to make sure that you have all students been assigned all right click assign and we are ready to go click okay now i'll show you in the google the teacher's google drive how it will look like and later on in the students google drive how it will look like as well okay so in the teacher's drive you will see this okay miro hunt game click on it and you can go into instructions and show your students that if you follow this instruction and uh, maybe you tell your own story make it more interesting and they should uh, inform that uh, you should inform the, the students to click on the file okay click on the file once everything is ready and this is students google google classroom panel and they also have the mirror hunt here right they will click on the mirror hunt of the uh, together with you and then they'll go through the story with you right and once you're ready they will also click the work to be done together this game but right, just to take note this is student one here and then for this student one when he's working on he should be using this the slide one right so you can see that this uh, teacher is on slide one as well this is the teacher's panel okay and they will work on this slide one and if i allow and if another student opens up the panel and this student is slide two he or she working on slide two or click on slide two here all right and therefore in group in student one panel he will see, he or she will see that in slide two all right second student l here will be working on it all right so this is a wonderful thing about this mirror hunt where you are like the intent is to get everybody to be doing on the same file and therefore in google try a google classroom it's important to click edit okay as an assignment a way to assign file okay um, and therefore in this case i would like to show you another important thing okay if i only have four students it's all right for me to see all four students here right on the left but if i have a lot more all right you won't be able to, you won't be able to see the rest you want to see more people you will you can actually go to view here click on view all right and then select grid view and i'll show you how you select grid view you will see about six all right sometimes even nine students all right at the same time okay and then when they are working on it you will see all the things appearing at the same time and let's say student one has already found something for the first mirror and student two has found something for the middle mirror on the second slide and this is how you will appear on teachers so with a great view both students uh, answers or their pictures will be appearing at their own slides at the same time same up same up in so we will present this panel of grid view or um, the view where everybody's work is presented and shown at the same time right all the students will be enticed to um, find their pictures well and to be able to get inspiration from others and you can also look at their progress while you go on with the class either face to face or remotely all right and therefore you entice the students to be uh, really looking into your topic all right the prior knowledge of the topic or to entice them to be aroused in in the in their joy and interest for the lessons that are coming right so i hope you like this video and you really love to be first to be notified of future video all right please click subscribe at the bottom right or subscribe uh, by clicking this brown button remember click the bell so that you first to be notified give us some comment and how you can really use this more um, hunt or any other games that you'd like to find out more all right and i look forward to seeing you again take care